Hey everyone, this is Baylor Ray, and in this video response, I'm going to try to explain what I actually did in the video, the magic of text fade, and a little bit more of this pretty cool stuff. So, one thing that I want to do is, I, like I did in the video, I had item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4, and what you can do in text fade is if you select your text, you can hit Control shift w and that actually wraps it. And it makes a selection, I can make this a list item, I can make it an anchor tag, and do whatever I want to do here. But what you can also do that I don't know, I mean, it's pretty easy to learn it, but what you can do is you make a selection like this, and you hit Control shift command so you're adding a command key to it. Remember, it's Control shift w does this, when you select multiple items, Control shift command w will wrap the the text in each item like this. So here it makes an anchor tag and I could, you can't do a whole lot more than that like I'll show you real quick. If I made another selection like this and I try to do the exact same thing it's gonna wrap it and you can't tell here but now you can see how it's kinda messed up so it's not perfect but um, if you want to do that what you could do is you could make a selection here type in a href and do this go down again and I imagine you could probably do this no you can't do that so you have to just finish it out like that the, that one right there is you can start a command you can start your text or your anchor tag and it can be any HTML tag and if you hit option command right bracket yeah that's what it does I, I, it's just kind of me hit but it'll automatically close that and if you put a span here it's pretty smart and it'll do the first one if I can remember what it is, you have to forgive me. I don't, I don't, it's a little bit easier to do this when you're not thinking about it. <laughs> okay, so whatever I told you just a second ago that you hit that works, that's it, option command. So let me try to do this again now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so that's how you can wrap each item. You can also do this option command thing and select and get rid of it. Um, you can actually do that option command and do some pretty cool things like I can change this to thing and I want to misspell it on purpose because so I can come back in here and transpose which is pretty cool I think uh, transpose is control T by the way so if you ever type something backwards and which I do a lot like you can type in like the like that and you just pop it around and it's pretty cool um, the next thing I did in the video is I made a line break above and below. I made a selection. I hit Control Shift W, and that does that wrapping thing again. If you make this selection again, hit Option Command Left Square Bracket. That auto indents it. Uh, and this is actually pretty complicated or pretty cool, pretty somewhat advanced. You can do like a div. Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing there, the auto open and close. It's Control Shift left air or uh, comma or your lesser than sign so that automatically opens and closes I didn't say that before so here I'm gonna put a paragraph tag and a span tag and an anchor tag so you can see I put all this on one line like sometimes you'll copy and paste source online and it pops out like this and you're like uh well you make a selection all the way around it and you hit command option left bracket like I showed you left square bracket it will automatically indent it and kind of fix it for you um, so there's that. That's what I did in the video. Now something else that you can do that's also really cool is let's say that you had something that you downloaded online or like I, like you let's say you get a list of items. You copy and paste it and it comes out like this. Item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4, item 5, item 6, and so on. And you want to turn this into an array. And it can be either a PHP type of array, which an array looks like this. And uh, PHP 5.4 introduced this, but I have trouble using it because it just doesn't feel right in PHP. It might just take me a while to get used to it, but I just don't use it. I haven't used it yet in PHP 5.4. So there's a PHP array, a JavaScript array would be like var array which you may not be able to use that word I don't know but then you do square bracket so let's say you want to put these items in arrays so like right here what you can do is we could select all of it 
And what I'm actually going to do is I want to select down the beginning. And one sec, let me let's change some of these. Let's do make them different lengths because it really helps to see this if they are different lengths. Okay, so the beginning we can just come over here and do the option key, put a quote in. Now, on the very like, what if you want to put quotes on the end of these and a comma? Well, what you can do is you can make your selection and hit Option Command A, and that'll edit at the end of each line. Pretty cool. So there we go. We've created that. Now, if we want to put these all in one line, you hit Control Shift J, and I want to add a space between these. There we go. So now we put this in here. Now we can make our selection and put this in here. I could wrap it in parentheses and do my array, and there you go. So we've already we put multiple lines into what would be a valid structure for an array. So or a uh, a CSV because I like to write my things in commas or quotes because then you can put a comma in here like this and it doesn't break it. And anyways, so thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.